Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Visio. In this module, I want to show you how you can create your own customized reports based on your own customized shape data. So I am in a basic flowchart template. When I bring the process shape onto the screen, the shape data window has the default settings, which this is this list here. These are the default settings when you bring a shape from the normal stencil. So I'm just going to delete that for a second. Now I've got a shape where I've customized the shape data and it is in a stencil called testing. So if I just go and open that stencil, so it's called testing, this one. And this is process one. So if I bring process one onto the screen, you'll see that the shape data is, is slightly different and I'll just delete the information for now. So that's the, and I don't want that title as well, I'll just delete that. That is the shape that I want to use. Now, what you can do is once you've got the shape data how you want it, if I just right click onto this shape and go edit shape data or define shape data. So this is what I did. I deleted the ones that were there and I went new, created my own, and then that's it, that's how it's set up. Now, I filled it in and then added it to my stencil, which I shouldn't have done. What I should have done is had it blank like that and then added it to the stencil, which I'll do now. And I'll call this process two. Process two. So now when I pull that one back onto the screen, that will always have my shape data there, look. So let's do a little flow chart. So process two, I'll just snap into that, process two, just snap into that, and process two. And what I really need there is some of the other shapes. So if I um, do a end, that's the end. That's got the default sh uh, shapes again. Let's knock this off. And you would also have a start at the top. Now, because I've not edited these other ones, they're going to have the default shape data in them. And if I just move all this down, I do control A to select everything, just move it down into the middle of the page. Now, I need to fill some information in. So I'll just pause the video a little a second while I fill some of this shape data in because I want to show you how to create a report, your own report based on just these fields, not the not the default fields, which are these. Okay, so I've added some information for each of these shapes. So you've got admin, finance, and sales. And I've not edited these, but I would normally do that as well and add them, add them to my stencil. Now to create a report, you click onto the um, review tab and then shape reports. And you get these preset ones. So if I just show you what this one would look like, this is just a flowchart one. Click on run, put it into Excel, OK. And then that will open up Excel and drop this information, the default information, into an Excel sheet. So it's got some information, but all these things are just, I don't really want any of these, so I can either delete it in Excel or um, get rid of it prior to sending it from Visio. Close that, don't save it. So to create your own report, you basically go review, shape reports, and then new. And shapes on current page. Yep. Next. And then you're ticking on just the items that you want. So I want cost. I want name. And status. That's the only fields that I want. If I go next give it a name, I'll just leave it as report one, and then next, and leave it as that, but you can put a description in there, and then finish. So that's now sitting there, so I can run that, and send that into Excel. Okay, generating report, same thing opens up, but now it's only brought in the information that I want to see, like so. It's a bit tidier. Now all those fields were available because they were 
as part of the, the default set. So when I when I deleted some of these on these shapes, these fields existed already. What I did was I just deleted the other fields and left them there. But what happens if you create a shape and add an extra field? Let's just have a look at that one. So if I go back to testing and just um, bring process two on, now it's only got three fields. If I go right click on that, data and then define shape data, I can create another field and then you see what happens here. So what you're doing is new and then I'll call this department department it's a text string and the sort key for this will be four that means it'll be in the fourth position on this list okay and then I can fill this in but these other ones are st I've still only got the, the initial ones in so what I would need to do now is push that back into there call that pr process three so I've now got process three and then if I do the same sort of thing I'll get myself a start start shape first off so start and then I'm going to my stencil uh, go and put the connector tool on connector tool on process three process three process three like so and then back to this and if I want this start end into my stencil I can just hover it over like that and then drop it in and I'll have that there now and then I can just drag this one to there and it fits it in for me back to the pointer tool now I haven't filled any of this in but I'll, I'll just create a, a report to add the department field because at the moment it isn't in there and you see what happens so if I just select all of this data go back to review shape reports new shapes shapes that are selected this time I don't want everything next right here we go so we've got to go down I want department cost and name and status status that's all I want next report to I'll leave it as that next and then finish and then run into Excel generates the report and it should only just bring that information across just the columns because I didn't fill any information in so department sitting there that's how you have to do it so if you're adding extra fields don't save that if you're adding extra fields you basically use your own stencil save that stencil for further use and then you've got the best of both worlds you've customized this so that's only got a few in that's got a different one in and then you can run reports create reports and add those those fields in so hopefully that little session was of use thank you for your time and i'll see you in the next one